I'm going to tie a CDC elk haired caddis and I'm starting off with a green caddis outfitters 80,000 dry fly hook and it's in a size 14. The thread that I'll use is an 8 out rusty done. I'll get the thread started behind the eye, take enough wraps in to make sure it's secure and then I'll leave my thread at just beyond the point in the hook uh, or at the barb. And then I can tie in my CDC and for this I'm going to select a CDC feather that's uh, relatively long. I'm going to be wrapping this up the hook shank so I want to make sure that I've got uh, enough material there to cover the hook. So what I'll do is tie it in by the tip but I want to capture some of those uh, fibers at the front as well um, to help me build out the body and also make it a bit stronger. So I'll pinch those together and then make sure I take nice hard wraps through the material and I'll leave the thread at about an eye width behind the eye. Now I can take my hackle pliers and attach it to the stem and then wrap this up the hook shank side by side wraps and you'll see the value of having a longer feather. Once my wraps start to catch up with my fibers, I'm going to stroke those back towards the tail to give me that length that I'm looking for in the fibers. Then I'll hold my hackle pliers up when I get to the thread and take a couple of wraps then I can remove and then trim and I want to make sure that I've got this nice and bound down before adding in my my elk hair. So I'm going to use a, a natural elk hair. I'll take off a clump trim it off the hide and then I want to be sure to remove that under fur and any of the short pieces. Usually I can pull it out by hand but if, uh, if there's a lot of that fur under there just run a comb through it. I'll put it in my stacker, give it a couple of taps to align the tips and then just like with uh, traditional elk hair caddis I want it to extend to uh, the bend in the hook so while I have it on top I'll just switch hands and then I'll take a cut right at the eye and now I can take two wraps over and then pull straight down and I like to work my thread through those butt sections as I advance towards the eye it really helps bind it down and once it's all in, I'll take a couple of wraps underneath as well. And then finally the whip finish. And you can whip finish underneath or uh, I often like to take them again through the, through the butt sections to really make sure it's locked in tight. And I can remove that thread. And if I want to shape the head at all, and that is a CDC elk haired caddis. If you want uh, shorter fibers trailing out of the back, all you need to do is pinch them and tear them, and you can trim that to size. Mm -hmm.